Hello YouTube, hello friends and people in virtual world, welcome back to Baggy's TMD. Don't forget to hit subscribe and smash that like button if you enjoy what I'm doing. Uh, today uh, we're going to have a look at an Airfix Vintage Classic set. Uh, Airfix brought out the uh, Vintage Classics, I think it was last year that started doing it. Basically what it is, Airfix have been building plastic kits for absolute years now and have brought other people's kits out i think they've brought matchbox kits and various other people like hella so they have got a lot of molds a lot of old molds just sat somewhere in storage and a lot of people buy the second hand kits uh for the random stuff that they don't make anymore so obviously airfix and hornby because that's who own airfix realize there's actually a market out there for reboxing so all, all it is is a rebox so, a modern box with the old picture on, vintage classic written on it with the old, I believe that's the old Airfix symbol. Uh, and they're uh, bringing out their classic kit. So, like I say, it's, it's the old mould, so there's going to be flashing all that. But, the most important thing is, uh, which I cannot find on this box. Ah, there you go. All the decals are, is it Cartograph? Are the brand new decals so the decals are going to be spot on uh we have a hawker demon i'll pick this up it's like four quid uh, four, no six quid at the bolton show this was now upstairs uh on the second hand stands uh someone had got the original version of this for 10 quid all right it's an original with the original decals but it's probably like a 30 year old kit how do we know the decals are going to be any good whereas we know with this it's going to be spot on so so I'll put that over there out of the way. So obviously you just get a bag full of bits. You can tell it's an old, old um, mold because there's this flash on it and everything, and now it's just it's chucked in the bag like it would have been back in the day. Obviously nice decals. Oops, that's all going a bit peaked on gear, isn't it? There we go. Put that over there. So yeah, obviously new decals. We know they're going to be spot on. They are the cartograph decals and obviously it's an old kit on a new set of instructions so you get a little bit of bump on it obviously all the new writing on it but then just simple basic old school instructions i used to come no cockpits or anything you got a gun but that's it expect some fit issues expect some problems along the way but we model us and uh the amount of people are oh, I haven't seen this kit made for years. Hornby and Airfix are caught on to that and just going, hold on, we can make some money here. We'll get some new de we'll get some new decals. We'll put it in a new box. We'll print out a new set of instructions, uh, and we can make some money here, which I can't blame them for really. So we'll have a quick look. Like I say, there's going to be some flash because it is an old kit. I know they're, they're bringing out no end of tanks and all manner of stuff to bring it out. Under this vintage classic range. I mean, we've done the Dominoi. Uh, and they're meant to be bringing that back out. So, obviously, we've got wings. There's flash. There's ejector pin marks on it. There is. Quite visible. But we can model them out. That's, that's nothing to worry about. We can do. We can do stuff like that. We can get rid of them. Obviously... You got your fuselage, it's raised panel lines, there's some mould seams on it. But who cares? We'll have some fun with this. Obviously, there's a big load of flash there. Like I say, you probably find this kit was probably originally in the 60s. And how many kits has this stamped out over the years? We've got guns there with the little magazine on top. I actually say that the pilots ain't too bad. <laughs> the pilots are probably better than what we get now with them. But yeah, obviously, top wing. There's ejector pin marks, there's some flash. It's it's in Hornby's newer plastic, but it's just a bit... It needs some work, it needs some filing, it needs some sanding, it needs some filling. But we're modellers. So anyone who moans about, oh, these vintage classic kits are no good because we have to work on them, grow a pair and do some modelling. <laughs> so yeah, like I say, the vintage classic set, yeah, they're worth buying. If they've got the plane you want, or the tank, or... Whatever you want, and it's cheaper to buy, buy it. you got decent decals. <laughs> I'm hoping to bring out a Grossling again so I can get another one of them so I can actually, out of the three I have, I can make one good 
good kit. So yeah, like I say, it's the Hawk Demon. The vintage classic. It's uh, like I say, I quite like the old box art on it. It's quite nice. So you got a nice, uh, whoops, Daisy, nice silver scheme on it. Nice and simple. Like I say, for six, for six quid. You can't argue, can you? So, but like I say, a little bit of flash. We're going to expect it. We're going to have some fun with this one. It's only a tiny plane. Let's just compare. That's that's the uh, size of a uh, Hawker Demon. And I've actually finally got around to starting the uh, C-130J. Uh, there's a C-130J. <laughs> a little bit of a size difference. So, yeah. little update there on what we've brought. And a little look at the vintage classic sets. See you later, guys.